I will never, ever forget playing Persona 4 for the very first time at the age of 14. I'm 22 now and about to be 23. And I remember that feeling of putting down Persona 4 for the very first time and absolutely bawling my eyes out for for about an hour until the game actually showed the final credits because I just did not want the experience to end. And I remember this feeling of not wanting to say goodbye to my friends. And I realize that is a very, very sad thing to look back on in retrospect to being like 14 middle school and uh, feeling like this attachment to these fictional characters that aren't real will never be real. Uh, they're just fake, but it was real for me. That, that, that just soul crushing goodbye at the end of, well, all Persona games. I remember my character at that age. I very, very much do uh, characterize myself at 14 years old as being the worst human being that you could possibly think of. And I'm not going to go into detail as I, it's, it's just not even whatever you can think of, whatever you can conjure up. I'm sure it's true, except for anything that's illegal. I'll, 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 I'll say that anything that's just like. Heinous, but definitely legal. I was an I was an absolute asshole, but I was a legal one. Whoa, that sounds okay. Never mind. Let's just skirt past this. <laughs> I remember my ideology at the time was very much uh, akin to the thinking of the main villain of Persona Four. And for the sake of newcomers, I will not be spoiling anything for these games. But I look back, I might actually start crying. I look back on like me at 14 to me to 22 now, just thinking like, I remember putting down Persona 4 and thinking, I have to better my life. I can't be this like loner, hateful, spiteful filled with so much rage teenager that I was this like oh I hate people anti-social all this like and it's like you don't hate people buddy you just aren't that good at speaking to them I'm just talking about myself mind you I don't know anybody else but I know for me I was definitely one of those people man I hate speaking to people it's like no you love people you just haven't found the ones that are for you yet and I'm filming this on Feb February, what day is it? Damn, well, that would have been so much better if I knew the day offhand. February 13th, 2024. Uh, tomorrow's going to be Valentine's Day. And <laughs> tomorrow's going to be a great day for me. I um if you want more context to that you can see the video in the the pinned section. Uh don't be alarmed by the title. Well actually I I don't care. The title is explained in the video. But um I strongly believe because of these games and the teachings of it that I have met my best friend. I have befriended some amazing people that have transformed my fucking life. I have these hobbies. I have this newfound self-confidence. I love speaking to people, something that I never thought I would do. I just came back home from rehearsals because I'm acting in this play. I have three parts, three separate characters. Fuck me. I'm busy. For the first time in my life, Persona is something that I just don't have time for because I am just so 
busy. And I'm happy about that. My life's just completely taken a 180. And I always, it scares me when I think about who I could have become if I had just gone down that path at 14 to just more destruction and more hatred versus being able to play this game and kind of have this reality check of how come these characters get to have so much fun and here I am miserable. Something needs to change. <laughs> okay. Tears are starting to flow. Um, And it took years. It took years. I mean, I started changing at 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't think anything got better until I would say like 21. It took years and it was a slow process, but I knew that I just had to keep getting these building blocks of just securing my future. And I always thought, I remember at the time, because the personality shift that I had at 14 to now is just completely crazy. Everything that I am now, my younger self would absolutely despise, which I was going to insult myself in the past, but honestly, I would just like to give young Eve a, a hug. And just say everything's going to be all right in the future. It took years. And especially with the the pressures of other people. I mean, when people know you as this one thing, they expect you. They almost uh, force you to continue living this, this, this lie that you're not anymore. They, 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 if, they, if, if people know you as this one thing, they only want to see you as that one thing and they cannot see you as anything other than that. I'm doing a play, lads. I, I'm theatrical, <laughs> lads. I, at, four, at 14, well, actually, no. Yeah, at 14, bitch, I would literally hide in bathrooms because I was too scared to stand up in front of my classmates and do a presentation. At 15, I was doing Shakespeare like speeches in a year. To now I'm doing a fucking play. At, at 14, I couldn't even go up to, to a cashier and ask for an extra packet of ketchup. To now I just go up and talk to anybody. And I love doing so because I love speaking to people. I, I just, it all came down to, uh, you're going to have to forgive me. I, I'm very rusty on my Jungian psychology terms, but I believe what I was dealing with was a lot of just overwhelming shadows and just relying too much on personas when I was that age. And I just did not feel comfortable revealing my true self around people. I still don't to a certain degree, but it's getting better and I'm breaking down those barriers each and every fucking year. I just, I, I met my best friend and she means the fucking world to me. <laughs> and you want to know what is that I don't even want to imagine what 14 year old me would have grown up to if I still had those terrible ideologies and had met her, but I was just a completely different person. I don't even want to think about how I would. Ha I, well, first of all, I wouldn't have even walked up to her in the first place. I'm sorry. This is getting into like, I'm getting into like personal things. It, it doesn't matter. But I just, my life is so different because of this game, because of this series. And there is no amount of anything that I can ever think 
that can come close to repaying this just persona in general for how much it's just impacted my life. Last year has was the best year of my fucking life. It's only February, lads. It's only February, lads. And I am just on top of the damn world right now. And it's all because of Persona. <sighs> um, I do have some bad news. I'll be honest. Life is just... I have a lot going on. Uh, a lot just... I, 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 I do... I kind of still promise a Persona 4 proper Ace video. I don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> I just... It's... I don't really, I don't, I can't, I can't play games like I used to. I don't have the time to, pers- to, to grind on Persona and play Persona in the way that I used to be able to. You know, shit, shit, shit gets, you know, shit gets tough to do when you actually have a life. <laughs> but I enjoy life now. And I think that's great. It's been justice. Eve, and I'll see you a lot later. Peace.